One, a fair funding formula that will distribute state resources equitably. Fair funding and revenue for education from taxing Marcellus Shale and closing corporate tax loopholes. We level the field for charter schools. We want charter school accountability. Four, we want to close down the school to prison pipeline. And five, we want to return our schools to local control. So back in November, one year ago, we held, with a thousand people, with our allies, we held a forum and invited the gubernatorial candidates. And we asked them to commit to those five things. Well, no surprise, Tom Corbett was nowhere to be seen. Tom Wolf showed up, and Tom Wolf said he agreed with those things. However, Tom Wolf, to his credit, has made education a central issue in this campaign. He has called for more funding for education, but we haven't seen him in the communities and the neighborhoods that are most impacted by the school cuts and school closings. We haven't seen him out there. And we haven't heard anything from him on the whole question of mass incarceration. The fight for education and the fight against mass incarceration are two sides of the same coin. Our students put it very simply, no education, no life. That's right. They understand that without a good education, they're staring at the prison door. The corporate interests that run this country understand it too. Their plans call for disinvesting in the inner cities, shuttering public schools, and relying on mass incarceration to maintain a social order that concentrates wealth, privilege, and power in their hands. We also have to understand that the policies of mass incarceration and the arguments used to justify them are rooted in racism. People of color are singled out by what Michelle Alexander called the new Jim Crow. In Pennsylvania, whites are 82% of the population, but they make up only 39% of the inmate population. To justify these policies, crime is exaggerated, sensationalized, and associated with long-standing racial stereotypes. It's conscious, deliberate, and it aims at pitting white working people against communities of color to the detriment of both. That's right. We can't let them get away with it. We have to connect the dots. We need not only fully funded schools, but schools that are connected to the lives of our communities, that nurture and support our families. We need jobs that pay a living wage. We need a criminal justice system based on fairness and restorative justice. When we have these things, we can start closing prisons instead of schools. When Jesus stood before Pilate, he said that we, I have come to bear witness to the truth. And this morning we have come to bear witness to the truth, truth that is spoken in a nonpartisan way and to which we will hold accountable whoever is elected the governor of the state of Pennsylvania. That's right. I call